storage of water different ways of storing water all living things need water and so did man early man needed fresh water too those early people had to store water as well how did they store water they had pretty good ideas we still use some of them let us see the different ways of storing water people dug wells wells let us use the water that has soaked into the ground some of the wells had ropes and pulleys to pull up the water with the pot people had to pull the water up and then fill up their own buckets with the water from the pot very few people actually draw water from the wells like this now that is because there are pumps which can pull out water these pumps run on electricity so we don't have to pull the water up ourselves from there the water can come through pipes directly to our taps the opening of the wells is also very small these days a machine directly digs deep there is no need to have wide holes like earlier such wells are called bore wells another way of storing water is through tanks a tank is just like a huge swimming pool there are lots of tanks on old forts no one could live on the fort without water and carrying water all the way would be impossible so a fort absolutely had to have water tanks in fact forts had wells too people early on also realized that they could build a wall across a river that would stop the water from flowing away the small walls were called bunds small lakes would form behind the bunds now we build really big walls called dams the lake that gets formed behind the dam is called a reservoir we can store a lot of water in dams farms can get water all year long factories can use this water too we can also make electricity using the force of water flowing out in dams the problem that is happening now is that all this water is not enough anymore for the people on earth we need more water we need to use the water we have carefully water is life we must never forget that no water no life be careful save water